We're here with Perrin Kaplan, the Nintendo mistress. I can never remember her title, so Perrin, just, just say it. Janitor, cook, slave, front door, greet her. Uh, what's the Walmart greeter called? Greeter. Greeter. Greeter for Nintendo of America. Hi. And uh, we're here to talk Wii because today is a big Wii day. And uh, as you can see, we've got Wii between us. And the reason we're both kind of slumped over is we're really tired. But, you know, i got to ask the question. Um, a lot of people were hoping for under 200. Any reason? Why would you say it's not under 200? Um, and as I said prior to you, that I knew there would be one person who was going to complain about a price that was still and is still mass market, and it's Maddie. That's, that's what I'm here for. 249 is a rockin' price for all that, plus a pack-in, the first time we've packed in in a long time. Um, in fact, it's the first time we've packed in in 15 years. How would you feel if you only had 400,000 units to ship this year? I don't know, because I have way more than that. Seems to be a little more than 400,000. There's a couple extra zeros on there, I believe. Tell me about Metroid. Why isn't it, uh, why isn't it coming out this year? Because it's cooking to perfection. And when you do see it in 2007, you'll be back here telling me that you're glad. What would you say to people who are afraid that, you know, as GameCube had some software droughts, uh, we may have the same problem uh, starting early next year? I think our plan and every intention is to make sure we have a plethora of games to pick from, particularly in the first and second quarters of next year, to keep the momentum going. So tell me about your retail plan. Uh, how are you going to present Wii? Oh boy, we've got uh, great interactives that are being built that I can't tell you all the secrets about except for that you actually can play and move. And um, our marketing program this year will include a lot of the traditional elements, but we're also going to be doing a lot of very grassroots organic approaches where we're taking the product to people so they can you know, experience it for themselves and buy into it themselves. I mean, at E3 last year, we could have done really well or we could have done really poorly. It had to be authentic, whatever it was. And we watched, with, obviously, with great pleasure that people fell in love with the experience as much as we had. First time I played any of the Wii products in Japan, when it was then called Revolution, um, I just knew after the experience, I said, you know what, I'm going to be crazy if I'm wrong, but I think we have something really big here. Uh, I'm really happy that it's going to be in white. I love, I love, that was my color. Yeah. But uh, we did a poll on our site and it was split down the middle, you know, something like 30,000 people. Purple. They wanted purple and hot pink. No, they, they wanted white and black. But uh, yeah, so uh, any reason why no black yet? To satisfy the needs, I think, during the holiday season where we do about 50% of our revenues in Q4, to have one color and a really simple approach and a pack-in, to be able to make it easy for retailers, easy for consumers, a really prime, good, perfect purchase for holiday season, good to go with the pack-in in it, one color was definitely the way to go. Um, you know, we'll take a look at other options as, as time goes. It seems to be very Mac-inspired, both the console and the, uh, the interface, actually, the, the uh, user interface you showed off, which is looking nice. So uh, would you say that's intentional? I mean, you guys are sort of looking at what Apple is doing and seeing how successful they are? You know, I, I think Apple can be complimented because they did something really bold with their coloring. Um, I think our approach was not so much, gee, let's do what Apple is doing, but we did explore with a variety of colors, and it did appear to us that this is the color that sort of looked the most simple, elegant, and sleek. Um, you know, there may be maybe other options as we get down the road, but um, I also have to dispel the rumor that Apple's not buying Nintendo and Nintendo's not buying Apple. That one pops up a lot. So tell me about why, or actually tell me about what's going on with DVD movie playback. Let me see. You are going to go um, this weekend, and you're going to go to a couple garage sales, and you're going to pick up a couple DVD players, and you're going to get one probably for five bucks that's a little banged up, and you're going to get one for like maybe $18 because it's brand new out of the box. And then you're going to go to Best Buy and you're going to get one for 29 bucks. You're going to have three DVD players. I don't think you need one on here. How does the photo mode work? How do you get photos on there? You would put your SD card into the system. And then it's very, very easy from that point. I actually personally plan on using it for photos because I just really struggle with PC and printing stuff out and it makes me nuts. Yeah, it's, it's a neat photo mode. I really like the little tornado spin where you... It seems like it can handle a lot of photos. Well, I think what people don't realize since there's been so much conversation from the other companies about power is that this has got state-of-the-art technology in it. It's a Ferrari under the hood. It's, it's a powerful little box, so it, it can do a lot. Let's talk about downloadable content. You guys, it um, doesn't sound like there's going to be a lot in the way of online games this year, starting up next year, but what about being able to download virtual console games? Well, let's talk about that first. Lots of space to save a lot of different virtual console games. So 
So, and then also, let's say you decide to delete one. It's not really deleted, it's just deleted from your menu or your pages because Matt still owns it because he purchased it. So it goes back to the server and, it's server and it still tells you you still own it. Yeah, the program's not run until you purchase it and it's yours. Uh, do we have any more surprises on the way before launch? We do have a couple other surprises, you know, probably not as big as what you got today, but more details on a couple different things that I think people, I think your folks will be very pleased about. You know, I am not going to tell people why they should like we. What I am going to tell them is you have to try it. And once you try it, you're going to understand. And you won't need me to be telling you what to get or not get. It's going to be totally your own authentic choice. When do you think they'll be able to try it in, say, a retail outlet? We're going to have a rollout. We've got a couple different activities that are going to be starting, you know, this month. But I think mostly into October and, and then early November is when people will get a hands-on. Sounds great. All right. Thanks very much, Perry.